My name is Ben Deeb. I'm a science teacher in Southern California with a background in environmental science and geology. In this video, I'll be talking about different types of landforms that we see on the planet Earth. Now, landforms are defined as natural features of the Earth's surface that are created from rock and soil and water. Um, and they can take a number of different forms. There are a lot of landforms people are really familiar with, like mountains and hills, and some others that we're not so familiar with. Now, I'm just going to talk about a few of the major ones today. Um, one that everybody knows is mountains. Mountains are a landform. They usually have peaks. They're big areas of rock that are uplifted. And that usually happens from tectonic movement. That's where the Earth's plates in the crust push against each other, and they will actually push up to form uh, mountain landforms. Another one that's common is valleys. Now, valleys usually occur between two mountains. They're areas that are kind of depressions. They're lower um, than other ones. You can have a U-shaped valley or you can have a V-shaped valley. Uh, but valleys are low-lying areas between two higher areas. Um, kind of like valleys are canyons. Now, canyons are very similar to valleys, but they're much deeper. Canyons are usually made from eating away at a flat area of land where water or wind, that erosion, will eat away at material and spread it out. So the Grand Canyon is an example of that, where the Colorado River carved out the land around it, um, and every year the, got, the Grand Canyon got deeper and deeper and deeper. It's actually still growing as that water flows through there. Um, but these landforms will take a very long time to form. Another landform are deltas. Deltas are usually found at the mouth of rivers. Deltas are where you'll have lots of water flowing down. They'll take all that sediment they've eroded away with them, and then through a process called deposition, they'll leave all that stuff behind. So deltas will be kind of a fan-shaped um, landform, a fan-shaped structure where water will kind of go out from the mouth of a river, usually emptying into an ocean. So hills are another type of landform. We've all seen those before. There are some right behind me. Hills generally start out as higher landforms, and then they're slowly eroded away and smoothed out a little bit by erosion. Um, a lot like that are plains. Now, if hills were left to erosion for a very long time, they generally turn into plains. They flatten out completely through those forces of wind and water wearing away at the rock and soil. Uh, plains are very flat lands. A lot of times they will be actually created by being carved out of the land by glaciers over thousands and hundreds of thousands of years. Uh, another landform is a plateau. A plateau is a flat area on top with very steep sides that comes up like that. Uh, the Grand Canyon actually is carved out of what's called the Colorado Plateau. You can also have some landforms that are made of water. For example, lakes are a type of landform. Lakes are bodies of water that are surrounded by land on all sides. You also have rivers, which are another landform. Rivers are defined as water that is flowing downstream and emptying into the ocean. And then we have oceans. Oceans are salt water bodies of water. They cover 71% of the Earth, uh, so most of the Earth is actually ocean. So there are lots of different types of landforms. These are just a few, um, and that's a little bit about what they are and how they were created.